When should you take an at-home rapid test? Say if you've been exposed to the virus, it's best to wait at least one day and up to three days afterward to ensure an accurate result. That's according to the CECC, which gave guidance on rapid test on Tuesday. Health officials say that if the result comes out negative and you'd like to check in, do so seven to ten days after contact. To get an accurate result, it's also crucial to use the test swab correctly. Experts say to avoid going too far into your nose or inserting the swab upward, you should aim for the swab to be parallel to the roof of your mouth. With COVID cases rising fast, the question in many people's minds is, how soon after viral exposure can a rapid test detect an infection? The CECC offered guidance on Tuesday. Taking a test one to three days after contact can offer the earliest results if you think the likelihood of infection is high. If you're still uneasy, you can test again seven to ten days after contact. You won't immediately show a positive on the day of contact because the incubation period is not so short. After one day and within three days after infection, that tends to be when positives show up and when symptoms are at their peak. Last time, I waited more than a day after contact to do the test. I did it in the last moment before coming to the daily press conference. Generally, if I don't have symptoms, all I do is monitor my health. But if I develop symptoms, I consider getting a rapid test. For accurate results, timing isn't the only thing that matters. It's also important how you insert the swab. According to a pediatrician, the swab must be parallel to the top of the oral cavity and inserted gently into the nostril. Angling the swab as if aiming for the ear can be helpful. Go only two centimeters deep. Do not insert the swab parallel to the nasal bone and do not aim for the space between the eyebrows or the eyes. Doing so could cause the swab to go too far in and damage the skull or even the brain. One must be especially careful when administering tests to young children. Take the swab out from the packaging, but don't insert it upward. You should insert it backward, twist it a little to the left and then to the right, pushing it in very slowly until you encounter resistance. In a video tutorial, Taipei Mayor Ko Wenzhe demonstrates how to use the test kit. Experts say that using the kits properly is key to getting an accurate result. Factors such as the angle of insertion can make a big difference. Experts say parents should avoid administering tests for children under the age of two. If there is a need to test, it's best to seek help from a medical professional.